Uh, shall we step over to the relationships and dependencies? Sure. Um, that, that to me is one of the real weaknesses frequently, one of the real vulnerabilities. Um, it ties back to the 13th one, which is where vulnerabilities to value growth, things of that nature as well. But, you know, one of the things that is really important to evaluate with the company is where dependencies exist. Uh, and those dependencies can exist in the supply side, right? They can, in the service side, they can be in the support side, you know, strategic partners, uh, marketing partners, sales partners, um, operating partners, you know, or, or, or employees or relationships. All of these relationships in a business, both internal and external, you know, need to be evaluated in terms of how dependent the business is upon them and how vulnerable they are to them going away. And so that test of if any of these relationships go away, what is the game plan or what is what needs to be done or what does it do to the business needs to be assessed. assessed. It's sort of like a stress test kind of an idea. You're coming back and saying, here's all the relationships in place and the dependencies. And, and, and Amazon is one of those, right? If you're an Amazon seller, Amazon is a dependency. It's a big dependency. And if Amazon says you can't do business on Amazon anymore, it's very deadly to a lot of businesses who are wholly dependent upon Amazon, you know, for their, for their business role. So your strategy around that or your stress test or your, how do you deal with that? For example, and just kind of stay with Amazon for a second. Um, one of the things that every business owner should transfer or every new buyer should expect to, to receive is what is the, process built in for handling any kind of Amazon problem. You know, if we get a warning from Amazon, what's our process? How do we go about it? You know, templates and things of that nature that says, here's what we do. If we get a, a warning or we get a bad review or we get any kind of a thing that threatens, you know, that dependency relationship, we need to have a process to address it that's been tried and proven. So the, the degree that we've gone through those things, we have processes for it, it helps to, to mitigate some of the dependencies around, say, an Amazon relationship. Same thing with any other kind of critical relationship. What happens if my primary vendor goes away? What, what, all, what options and alternatives do I have? Um, and buying a new business supply side is critical until you've got new relationships that you can find alternatives to. So building in a mitigating plan for that to make sure you've got time to get in and find alternatives is an important part of the dependency test. So Absolutely. Supply chain. Uh, if you're selling off Amazon on your own website, your merchant credit card processing, so the ability to receive credit card payments, um, yep. you know, big, big ones that I see, huge dependencies, huge relationships. If I'm a buyer, I want to know what those look like. If I'm a seller, I want to, you know, I, I want to have some uh, redundancies in place to showcase to the buyer that those dependencies are not uh, a single point of failure. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications about new videos and interviews and introduce yourself in the comments. Are you a buyer or a seller?